back to the channel guys. Uh, this is gonna be the part two of the converting the rear end of my NC track car to use RX-8 parts, differential axles and uh, knuckles slash hubs. I just picked up the hubs. They're done already. The guy uh, pressed them in and uh, I told him to remove the, the dust shields too. So um, I don't really have a good scale to, to do this, but I could tell you the weight of the NC and the RX-8 ones, they're virtually the same. What I think more people are gonna be concerned about is the weight of the differential versus the NC differential. So the RX-8 one versus the NC. As far as trying to show the disassembly of the differential, the axles and the hubs, um, I have a video of that. It's really difficult to um, film this with one guy. So bear with me. Um, I would love to show you guys me disassembling it as I am right now, but it's, it's very difficult by myself. So um, I have a video, I'll link it up right here and you guys can watch that. That video is not the best. It has a good amount of views on it, but it's not the best video. I wish I can really go back and redo it again, but yeah, that's a hassle. But I will tell you, I was fighting this driver's side axle uh, right now for about an hour and uh, I finally got it out. And it's uh, just be prepared if you're gonna be doing this, whether you're going from like an open diff to an LSD or whatever, those axles are kind of a pain. So, and there's really not a good tool for it. You just have to get a pry bar and just kind of go to town. And, but yeah, um, like I said, I'm gonna, the drive shaft's about to come out. Power plant frame is already loose. And then I'll uh, take everything out. I'll put the differential side by side so you guys can see them and then we'll go from there. So sorry if this video is gonna be kind of all over the place, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. So one of the steps you do on the RX-8 swap over for the diff is um, the differential mounts. This is an RX-8 and this would be for the NC. When you put the NC differential mount on the RX-8 diff, you have to trim around for like back here, I believe. Um, that's obviously the NC diff, the RX-8 diffs over there. But you have to trim in here or it's right here. You have to trim in and you kind of have to like match this because this is the spot you're trying to mimic. However, I figured wouldn't it be cool if I could just put the RX-8 differential mount onto the RX-8 diff and then into the car. So I was already underneath the car and I put both of them in there. Luckily Mazda did like a clevis style for, for this part. So you have a little bit of tolerance there when you're inputting it, uh, installing it. And I tightened up the 17s that hold this to the physical subframe and um, it was tight. Everything was looked like it was in the exact same position. I did it for the NC one and then I installed the RX-8 one. And then I did one step further and I wanted to measure the, um, the lengths and they're literally identical. And this can be very difficult with one hand, but I'm on the inch mark down there and it basically ends up right on seven eighths. So it's like right there. So it's 17 and seven eighths inches long on both differential mounts. Here's the NC one. Again, I know this is very difficult with my trying to film it, but it's 17 and uh, seven eighths. So that's awesome. I'm going to use the RX-8 one and then this, kind of more of a selling point, I can sell this differential mount with my NC LSD because it already has the white line uh, bushings in them. These ones from a car I got on, on eBay, the, uh, the bushings are already destroyed and I, uh, I have PowerFlex bushings. So these ones are a little bit stiffer, uh, but these are great for like street use, the white line bushings. They are about, a, a, I think an 84 durometer. So here are the two differentials together, NC LSD, RX-8 LSD. I know the, it's super dark in here, sorry, but I'm trying to get a representation of them. The RX-8 differential is definitely a little bit taller. And if anyone was curious, this is an RX-8 diff mount on the NC differential. Everything literally bolts right up. So, Cool to know for whatever reason but yeah let me take some measurements real quick and go from there I'm starting to get a little worried unless it's my eyes playing with me but it seems like the rx8 differential might be a hair longer i don't know i think it's because it doesn't have the uh the uh like i don't know what they even call this little bushing like 
like a weight doesn't have one so yeah I just spent the last uh, hour and a half grinding away because I just could not get these RX-8 diff, uh, the mounts out of the differential. So I figured I'll just reuse the uh, the NC one, but I was very hesitant on grinding away the material because that material on there is so thin already. So I said, you know what, let's let's grind away the differential and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you right now. This is about an hour and a half of grinding away with a grinding wheel and um, I could still clean it up a little bit more, but it's, I, I haven't really put much pressure on these, uh, nuts, but it's basically flush all the way around. And, uh, I'm just gonna put that in because, uh, that mount is, I don't even want to look at that thing. Here's the power flex bushings. These things are freaking stiff. They almost feel like Delrin. Um, these will go in and... I'm gonna put the differential in and then I'm gonna call it a day. I'll show you the spacer I ended up getting. I went to a metal place, he just gave it to me. So this is actually three quarter inch thick. So it's a little too thick, but I can cut this down. This is easy to cut, but I, I don't have a mill. So um, I'm gonna put that differential in right now and then call it a day. Cause I'm, I'm beat from grinding for an hour and a half. So here's the RX-8 diff. That's an NC power plant frame. You know you're on the correct side for the diff is these uh, kind of strengthening little plates. I kind of knocked it loose because I got to take it off anyways, but so it's on the correct side and the correct orientation. What I ended up doing, and I didn't take a video of it, but I'll, I'm gonna insert a photo. The studs coming out of the diff, they would literally come right here, like my fingers going inside you can tell they don't match up here. When I put the power plant frame on with the studs in, I was getting all super giddy and happy because it looked like everything was lining up where I didn't have to slot the, the power plant frame. The studs obviously played a trick on me and I even had these down here tightened, fully, fully tightened. So the studs, this is a really, this should be a good representation of how far off it is. I'll pan up just slowly so you can see, but the hole is, literally right where my fingertip is. And then this nub right here for this supporting plate will eventually come off. But yeah, this, the holes need to be slotted. This will be flipped upside down, so inward towards the car, towards the inside middle of the car. But uh, everything else is looking, looking good. This is uh, an NC power plant frame, uh, sorry, NC differential mount on an RX-8. I did grinding away on the physical differential because the RX-8 one obviously has the notch cut out and they actually have these little strengthening ribs, which is nice because this material is really thin, man, and it's, it's aluminum. And I felt bad to, to, this is about how much you would need to cut on the NC because the NC one comes out to basically where the studs are, to the holes. And I was getting worried that I didn't want to remove that much material. I, as I said in the previous part of this video, this video is gonna be all over the place with the clips and stuff. And you're you're watching me about a week after the last clip. Um, I ended up cutting down that, uh, which was three quarter. Now it's a five eighths, around five eighths aluminum spacer. I drilled my holes. I modified the power plant frame. I got my new bolts in and I'll show you that right now. Please do make fun of me how ugly this looks, but this is the aluminum spacer to fill the void. Power plant frame is modded, uh, modified. The holes are drilled inward and I have 45 millimeter length bolts in. That's bolted in and uh, I have a little bit to go, but, um, and I was able to salvage the little um, reinforcement plate, whatever. So yeah. Do not be like me. If you're gonna do this, measure once, cry once, do your one drill and you should be good. I've had to go multiple times back and forth, dremeling something out, you know, reaming out a hole and it's just, was a, it's a freaking nightmare. And um, I really got actually really mad and I, I didn't wanna work on it anymore, but um, I'm basically down to this last bit. Then I can throw it in the car and then uh, start assembling the rest of the stuff. So 
Again, I apologize, this video is literally all over the place uh, and uh, I'm gonna try to edit it as best as I can to make it um, uh, perfect for, for viewing. So, so it's daytime now. <laughs> um, the differential is in the car, the power plant frame's in the car, and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, so coming underneath, that is an RX-8 differential, a little modified spacer with the modified power plant frame, all tightened together to the transmission. There's plenty of clearance up here for whatever. And um, yeah, it's really not much different looking than the NC diff. It's the differential is obviously much taller. So it sits down a little um, closer to the ground. However, but when you get rid of those studs, you're gonna end up doing these bolts. So you kind of actually get some of that ground clearance back. I don't know if much people care about that, but yeah, that's, that's an RX-8 diff in an NC, all modified and ready to go. I'm gonna put the, the um, drive shaft in, finish up the exhaust, and then I'll start moving on to the, the back end so I could do the axles and the, and the knuckles. So the drive shafts in, went in with no issues. Can't really get a good representation of how the angle is, but the drive shaft, power plant frame, everything looks, I mean, I didn't pay much attention, but on the NC, it looks very similar. But one thing I was really stoked about was the NC drive shaft made it up to the end of the RX-8 diff almost like perfectly, like it was meant for it. It's it was it was pretty exciting when that happened. So I put all the bolts in, everything's all in, everything's good. I'm not even seeing really any, like I said earlier, I'm not seeing any extreme angles on the on the uh, drive shaft. Everything looks pretty much like it was before with the NC. So I'm going to, I'm gonna save the exhaust for now, but I'm gonna work on the back end and do the, the hubs and the axles. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, so here's the progress right here. Everything basically lined up identical to an NC. I will give a word of advice. Um, don't uh, hit these to get the arms out. This obviously happened when I got the arms out, but it screwed up the threads at the top and it's really difficult to spin it and I don't wanna ruin the control arm. So um, I'm gonna get new of these, new uh, nuts, flange nuts. So that will be done. This side was good, but everything lined up correctly. This caliper was, this is the whole side that the accident happened on. Um, I stupidly was trying to hit the brakes and the piston almost popped out. It's it's not all the way out, but um, I didn't like how the, the seals kind of got all, you know, burnt. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use that caliper. I bought another one anyways, but as you can see, it doesn't look much different than, a, than an NC knuckle and setup. Here's one side kind of just about done. If I put brake pads in, the caliper would be on and that would be good. Um, I gotta tighten this axle nut and then this is where the modification of the uh, ABS sensor will come into play. As you can see in here, the whole, um, there's a little bit of gap, which is fine, but um, I gotta enlarge this hole on the bracket and then this will screw right in. And then uh, this one can line up too easy but this side's all bolted in all that stuff's torqued got to torque the axle nut and then put the caliper on it's good i think since the rotor on the other side got destroyed i'm gonna just get a new brake rotor for both sides i'll give a view of the axles underneath what they kind of look like again doesn't look much different than a nc setup but you can see Um, and I hate to say it, but this is gonna be a three-part video. Um, it was kind of a hassle to get everything installed. And obviously I know I didn't film really much of the installing the parts, but again, I have a video of it. Putting the knuckles back in, putting the axles in is very easy on these cars. I uh, just gotta maneuver the arms around, but it's, it's not hard. Um, I wanna be adamant that <laughs> everything just about lined up perfectly on this car when I put it all back in. Even the most 
critical thing that I thought was going to be was the drive shaft. It lined literally perfectly up with the with the um, differential, just like how it did with the NC uh, setup. So. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna do a, uh, a part three. It's gonna be on the track, a track review with a little bit of street driving, but just to keep you up to speed, it's a 4.44 ring and pinion now in the car, which before was a 4.1. So I'll do a track review. I'll be easily able to tell the gearing change because of that dreaded fourth gear is long and it's in the wrong power band. So hopefully with the 4.44, it'll put me in that correct power band. But um, if you guys have any questions on any of this setup, uh, please ask me and I, I will try to help you out. And I know everyone's gonna hate me right now, but um, I didn't end up weighing the RX-8 differential. I did just weigh the NC differential with barely any fluid in it. It was 67.6 pounds. That RX-8 diff, I wanna say is an, another 15 pounds heavier. So is that gonna sway your decision? I don't know, but I wanna tell you guys, be transparent with everything I'm doing. I will admit the axles I know are heavier, and but the hubs and the knuckles, I can't really feel a difference lifting them up, but. I know the axles are heavier and I know the um, differential is heavier. So look forward to that part three video. Um, I'm excited to finish this and get it back on the track and uh, show you guys a pretty, pretty significant upgrade on this car. I'd like to think, and I really hope I don't break another hub, but we'll see they're OEM. Everything's brand new down there uh, other than the axles and the diff, but brand new bearings, brand new hubs. So we'll see what happens, but thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in part three.